Good morning everyone! So I thought that I would just whip the good old vlogging camera out today. As you can see, I'm still very half done. I have put makeup on, but I still need to do my the barnet <laughs> and put on some clothes because that is what, you know, grown all together people do. They put on clothes. Mm. Now on the agenda today, priority number one, I have rights an essay. Now I have five days to do, do this essay, to do, to do this essay, um, but I just remembered that um, I am working for the next four days, so oh god. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna head into university and try to get some writing done there because there are books there as well, so maybe I'll get some sources onto this project, oh my god. Then later today I'm gonna try and cram in as much stuff as possible. Now I do have an event uh, tonight, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to vlog today, um, with Russell T. Davis. It's a preview uh, screening of a new show that he's made. It's Midnight Summer's Dream, and it's sort of in honor of Shakespeare's 400th anniversary. So that's going to be really cool. It's like a Q&A with Russell T. T. Davis. If you don't know who Russell T. Davis is, um, he is the creator of uh, the new Doctor Who, not like obviously like the 2005 one. It's one thing I really want to do before that screening thing and that is there's a book signing uh, with John Berriman which plays Jack Harkness in Doctor Who or played um, in Doctor Who and Torchwood and yeah I really really want to go to it but it's kind of cutting it close to the other events so we'll see if I make it I really really want to go right, so it turns out that it's absolutely boiling today uh, do definitely not need this jacket I'm now heading into uni and hopefully I'll get some writing done that's the hard part isn't it just to get some words down on paper So I'm now back home. I decided to um, just go back because I have enough done at the moment and I want to get ready for the stuff later. <sighs> okay, I need to find my keys and I have hands full of books. Look how brilliant this book is by the way. It's all about Doctor Who and Star Trek. Yes. <laughs> Having a good day? <laughs> yeah, I'm very productive. Very busy. We're well, gonna see Dodie. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Me and Tom and Aaron got tickets for Dodie Clark's uh, show in London. When Hi, was it? Thirty first. Shut up! Look, Shut up! Business cards. Shut up! <laughs> They're also all printed business cards. <laughs> They're very excited about Wait, it. Where's mine? <laughs> Let me actually see yours. Oh, look at that focus. There we go. If you need a cinematographer, or director, or, or a director, if you need an editor. <laughs> Hashtag angry feet. Oh, <laughs> we're what going to see Dodie Clark the 31st. 31st. At so, the it's going to be exciting. Cafe. Ooh. Yeah. In London. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I've seen Dodie a few times live. Well, get you. <laughs> okay, so I've now made it to the John Behrman signing event and I got my book. I went for Conjure, the first one of The Chronicle. And I'm here with Josh, oh. Leah. And Tom! And you guys all went for the Torchwood book. Exodus code. Yeah. -na -na -na. -na -na -na. And we're now just in line, which goes all around Waterstones. And then they're in there somewhere. I think it's so they know your name. Oh, we just met John Barabin, oh my god. Um, we got the book signed, there we go. And um, I didn't know what to say. I said something about um, the fact that I lint roll his costume all the time because obviously I worked at, work out the Doctor Who experience, so I started talking about that. I don't know. What did you say to him? Um, just hi, how are you? I'm fantastic. I, I couldn't think of anything to say. It was just a basic greeting, but it was a good way. And you went for? Oh, when I met him, I spoke to him about the time I met Eve Miles and Gareth David Wood when they were drunk, and I even said to him, my favourite character of all time is Gwen. Oh, she's like rude. What do you mean? Yeah. Anyway, so that was, that was cool though. He was really nice. He did take the time to like chat to people and take pictures, which was yeah. really nice. I'll insert my picture here or something. Right. <laughs> Okay, I'm crossing the road here. This might be a bit dangerous. Okay, so we just went from the book signing to uh, Tom's place, and on the way, we bumped into Russell T. Davis. 
just casual. Just like, hey, and he recognized Josh, of course, because Josh is a massive stalker. <laughs> Uh, so we just had a chat with him and... Uh, Brian Minchin was there, who's the executive producer, and Edward Russell, who's the brand manager for Doctor Who, and it's like... Hi guys! Uh, yeah. That's, that's insane. That's like the third time I've met Russell now. That's insane. The second time I met him. He's so lovely, yeah, and we did so ask for like, a picture. Insert picture oh. here. It's a very Torchwoody Doctor Who themed day, I feel like. Definitely. Yeah. How old you go from meeting John Barrowman to Rusty Davis in half an hour? It wasn't even half an hour, it was like 15 minutes. <laughs> Some I'm a celebrity, celebrity magnet. Sort of magnet oh, for everything right. Doctor Who. Yeah. It's funny because like we do live in Cardiff, so obviously it is quite Doctor Who themed anyway. But you know, most of these people yeah. they don't live in Cardiff, so when they're not shooting Doctor Who, they're not here. So it's really fun to meet people. And we did get to say to Russell T Davis like the reason why we live here now is because of, of him. him. And like we, the reason we're friends is because of him. The reason we have a yeah. job is because of him. The I, reason so we were at the book signing was for him. The reason we're going to this thing tonight is because of him. The reason the I had this bag is, is because of him. He is the creator. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, oh my god. god. So now we're going to go to the event. What a Which should be fun, even more. What a lot. Russell D. Davis. Oh, I see. <laughs> but really, without Russell, we wouldn't be talking about Roth Lot. We wouldn't be sitting here now. And it's terrific to have him back in the world. I have absolutely no doubt that none of us will forget what, what we're going to see tonight. It's a really unforgettable production of Midsummer Night's Dream. And I think we should just sit back and prepare to be amazed. Do you remember? To take an ancient text and to chuck it up in the air to make something brand new out of it. Because that's what everyone does. That's what every story ever does. And if you're scared of that, then you shouldn't be writing in the first place. Of course, with any job, there comes a lot of fear. You want to, you, you absolutely want to get it right, or you absolutely, or there's no right or wrong. But you want. To... Thank you very much indeed. Okay, so the screening is now over, and I am on my way home. I did pick up some food on the way because th throughout that whole thing, the whole screening, my stomach was growling. Okay, well, it's now a few minutes past midnight, so I should probably head to bed um before i do i just wanted to say that if you do get the chance to watch a midnight summer's dream uh when it airs on tv it should be out the end of this month on bbc you definitely should because oh my god that was fantastic it was so magical and it was much more funny than i thought it was gonna be today was just kind of insane i mean meeting two of the people that you like I've looked up to and stuff for so long. It's just always weird. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe uh, if you want more. And I will see you again very soon. Bye. Good night.